Psalm 43. Here you've got some self-talk. And the psalmist says, why are you in despair, my soul? He's talking to himself. Why are you disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall still praise him, my saviour, my helper and my God. So we all talk to ourselves. Self-talk is a large component of who you are as a person. And in our age, you can fill your self-talk with absolutely banal, empty nonsense. Wondering about this, or fantasizing about that, or just full of all sorts of empty things. And the lyrics of songs are very often empty likewise. And that just goes round and round in your head. Now take a grip. Look at your self-talk. Ask God to put his spirit into your spirit so that your self-talk might be different. And you notice in a lot of these Psalms, and Psalm 43 is an example, how he starts off praying to God, like here in verse 1, Vindicate me, O God, O deliver me, you are the God of my strength. He starts off talking to God, but he ends up in self-talk. Why are you in despair, my soul? Why are you disturbed within me? Hope in God. So, this is what prayer is. It is not just firing off a list of requests to God in the hope you might get 20% of them. No, it is talking to God. But as you open yourself to him, you find yourself talking to yourself. And it's this spirit of self-talk which is so important. And if you're talking to yourself about the wrong things, you will end up being the wrong person. It all comes down to the spirit, the mind. And this is where we so desperately need help. And God is willing to meet man at his greatest spiritual need, which is not only forgiveness, but the power to think differently, to have another spirit. And he is willing to put his spirit in you so that your self-talk will be different. But you've got to want it. And who doesn't want it? Every sincere believer surely says, yes, please, I'm up for that. Come into my self-talk. Do some changes in my head and God will.